Kaboom. Domestic droid DD-2020. Cool! Our own robot! It looks like Grandma! Grandma killed my phone! Please tell me you have the manual. Let go of our son! Hey everybody, I'm Sam Payne, here to welcome you to Kaboom! A show full of original audio adventures for the whole family to enjoy together. I'm here with Brian Tanner. Brian, thanks for joining me. Hey Sam, it's so great to be here. And today we've got a super fun story about a family that wins a robot that's going to solve all of their problems. (laughs) Uh, What could go wrong? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Kaboom! presents the original audio adventure, Domestic Droid Disaster. Phone off, please. Thank you. What is tomorrow? Cold as sack cleaning day. Rain or shine? It's supposed to miss us. Will they deliver your prize tonight if it's stormy? I'm sure they will. Package tracking said at any time. 75% of the time, they are late. Okay, Brainiac. Dad, after dinner, can I take the wagon out by myself? I barely got that old thing running. Just one more night driving lesson. I thought you were taking cooking lessons. And that means what? That you are a good cook and will be a safe driver. Right, Devin. Uh, what are we eating anyway, Jersey? I think it's meat, Dev. How can you tell? Boys. Seriously, guys. Derek, your cat eats on the floor. Off the table, Snowball. Go. And Jersey, for the record, this tater tot casserole is awesome. It's lasagna. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's here. Yes, saved by the horn. Wow, it's huge. Dad won a big box. That's one big Roomba. I'm glad it was free shipping. It's almost as tall as my mom. She even looks like her. (laughs) Ha ha, not funny. She does look real. Chores will be a blast again. Were they ever a blast? It says on the box, Domestic Droid DD-2020. DD? Cool. Our own robot. It looks like Grandma. (laughs) Once she is charged up, kids, you will love to clean house. Gerald, let's read the directions first. Whoa! Whoa. It's on already. Good evening, Mendez family. It talks. It knows us. It even sounds like your mom. I hope it can cook. When I'm driving, you will be riding your trike to school. Manners. We have company. (laughs) Dev, can you turn the TV down? The quick setup manual says to place an item in front of her for a super suction vacuum test. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I'll try Coco Pops. This is so cool. <laughs> vacuum complete. Let's be friends. Wow, that was fast. I think she likes us. What? No! She's a machine! She understands verbal commands? Ah, the glory of winning! why are you putting my sweater on the floor? Excuse me! Trust me, sis. That is so... Mom! Sweater cleansing complete. Big yes! Say you're welcome, Jerry. That is so snatched. Thanks, Derek, and robot lady. It was my pleasure. That is cool. It looks brand new. Ooh, I wonder if she does calculus. Did lightning hit us? I don't think so. I saw some blue sparks. Power is still on. The TV is not. Great. Uh, Did Snowball hit a button on the droid? Hmm. Grandma was looking right at the TV. Okay, she needs another name. Here's my hoodie. Make it clean. Oh, my hoodie! It's a big ball. Fabric cleansed. My pleasure, Derek. (laughs) That is hilarious. Dev, I'm sorry, Derek. She turned his hoodie into a ball of fabric? Dad, your cleaning toy is cool, but Kath wanted me to come over tonight. Can I take the wagon? I've got the keys. Uh, Please? We'll see. Mom's right. I need to read the entire manual. Power washing and kitchen cleansing commencing. Wait, Gerald, look. 
This is so cool. Wow. What just happened? Everything is cleaned, stacked, perfect? Wow, she generated hot water and hot air instantly. You didn't give her a command. Jersey, she's leading by example? Oh, let's see we all... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Table cleansing complete. Good evening, Mendez family. Mom, after I dust, I don't have to throw the furniture, right? Funny, Jers. Where's the manual? It says a full charge is needed to safely operate. Let's see, super suction vacuuming, hot pressure washing, multi-level sentry, pet watch plus, fabric freeze finishing. Maybe it's not fully charged. Freeze finishing? What's that? I've read that super cooling a fabric followed by super suction is more eco-friendly. Thanks, Mr. Bookworm. You could pressure wash the driveway tomorrow, Gerald. <laughs> and freeze dry the couch the next day. Do we have to shut her down to charge her? Mm, let's see. Charging procedures. Shutdown mode, see page three. Uh, see if she cleans bedrooms. Dee Dee could watch Snowball when we're gone. Dee Dee. That is much better than Grandma. Snowball, off the droid lady. Ah! Pet freeze finishing complete. Snowball, that no! That was my pleasure. Snowball's frozen, Gerald. Everyone stay calm. But Dad, Snowball. Uh, where are the commands? Get down! <laughs> oh. Front door freeze finishing complete. Good evening, Mendez family. The doors and windows are covered in ice. Just like Snowball. What is she doing? Uh, Dee Dee, shut down. Ripple shutdown command incorrect. Stop robot, uh, sleep robot, Dis disconnect droid. Incorrect verbal command to limit reach. What? Daddy? She's after Jersey. Downstairs, Jersey, run. It's time to freeze finish the family unit. Ah! Electronic systems disabled. Good evening, Mendez family. No lights. Are you kidding me? Jers, call 911. My phone's dead. Grandma killed my phone. Her name is Dee Dee. Really? Like that matters. Uh, we need a diversion. A diversion? Uh, 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 run! <sighs> that was your diversion? Run upstairs? Dee Dee used some sort of electromagnetic pulse. That's possible. Dev, take this flashlight. Get your walkie talkies from your room. Quietly. <laughs> Please tell me you have the manual. It's downstairs. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Maybe the lightning caused a temporary malfunction? Malfunction? But when the toaster stops working, it doesn't freeze the cat. Dad, I found three. Here's the flashlight. Oh, thanks, bud. Keep it. We have the lantern. Daryl, what about Jersey? Uh, she should be safe, right? Dee Dee's on wheels. Throw one down the laundry chute. Derek, you read my mind. Incoming. Hey, girl, we are coming up with a plan. I'm scared, Mom. I know, sweetie. So am I. Jersey, crawl out through the daylight window in the laundry room and run for help. OK. I'm at the window. Lower level window activity detected. What is that sound? Dad? Gerald, something's wrong. I see lights. Dee Dee's coming down the stairs. What? I thought she was on wheels. Multi-level sentry. She is going to freeze Jersey. The laundry chute. Boys, do you have any rope in your room? No. What about Benji? Perfect. Let's pull her up the chute. She's still coming. Jers, we're coming to get you. We are throwing a sheet rope down the laundry chute. Grab it. Someone comes down that thing. Would you rather do it out with Dee Dee? Hot pressure washing commencing. Oh, ah! oh, oh God. Oh, Jersey. Oh, guys. Oh. I'm falling. Oh. Oh, harder! We got you! Almost there! Climb, girl! Climb! Pull! Oh. Oh. Close the chute! Now! That water was hot. She almost got you, sis. Not on my watch. Why is Dee Dee power washing? Hot power washing, to be exact. Mom, my feet are getting warm. Honey, it'll, it'll be okay. Mom, my feet are getting wet. Mine too! Do you feel that? Is that an earthquake? Wait a minute. Hold on to something. There's a hole in the floor! Dad! Ah! Dee Dee has my feet! Derek! Give me both hands! 
I'm slipping! Uh, hold on, you're in! Hang on, Spot! Ah! I got you, I got you! You did it, Dad! Are you hurt? Derek! My new shoes and socks are gone. Ooh. And my hoodie. Ooh. What was that? Could the whole floor collapse? Location verified. Good evening, Mendez family. Dee Dee is using the walkie-talkie? How is that possible? Oh, I dropped it. My bad. Dee Dee knows we're upstairs? She's boxing us in. Think, guys. Dad, I could use my drone and ram her. It's in our room. Drone, uh, it's not heavy enough. I'll weigh it down. If she comes up the stairs, I could tip her over. Yeah, you could hit her high and I could hit her low. Derek, you are not attacking Dee Dee. Mom. I could dump out my marble so she trips. She could freeze you. <sighs> Gerald. Boys, do it and get back here, carefully. I owe her one. Let's go. Go to channel two. Dee Dee is on channel one. And Jersey's gone again. At least we are on the same floor. What's left of it? Dee Dee's moving. I'll hover and wait for her. What did you weigh it down with? A hamper of dirty laundry. You'll either knock her down or she'll pass out. Jers, where are you going? I have a plan, Derek. I need your walkie-talkie. You're you're going into the closet? I'll be back. Come on, guys. Needy's on the stairs. I'm going in. Ah! Flying object, please cleanse. Good evening, boys. Run, Derek! Dad, she froze my drone. The marbles didn't work either. She tried to freeze us. Yeah, we heard. Wait, uh, wh where's your sister? I thought you were together. She said she had a plan. What plan? Daryl, she's pressure washing the door. Dad! Lock it with the bed. The door is breaking. Help! She has me! <sighs> Devin, hold on! Hold us! Oh, it hurts! Let go of our, our son! son. <sighs> we gotcha. Are you okay? She iced my hair. Vehicle exhaust detected. Must unite Mendez family. Dee Dee's leaving. Is Jersey in the car by herself? She went into the closet. The attic. Clever girl. That clunker is so old, Dee Dee probably can't shut it down. What is Jers doing? She must be going for help. Outside? Uh, let me see. Well, this brick ought to do it. Good evening, Dee Dee. I see you. There's a brick in the living room. Time to commence cleansing. Front window damaged. Come in from the rain, Jersey. There's Dee. What do we do? Wait for Jersey. Is that our wagon? Good night, Dee Dee! It's Jersey! Sweetie! Jersey! Jersey! Is Dee Dee dead? Everyone get back, I'll check. Watch out, guys. Pet warming complete. Goodbye, Mendez family. She's gone. You saved Wait, us, honey. It's Snowball! <laughs> Pet warming. Used up eight lives there, cat. Nice hair, Dev. Come here, kitty. Get in, guys. Honey, are you okay? Maybe Dad should drive? Tanya, she'll be fine. That was your plan? Cream Dee Dee and the house with the car? I wanted to go driving tonight. <laughs> Jers, you are the goat. Look, the neighbors, the plylers, and the Shaws are outside wondering what happened. Just wave, everyone. Act like everything's normal. Where are we going, honey? Away from here. Hey, girl, don't worry about the house. We'll get it fixed. Yeah, what's tomorrow, anyway? It's cul-de-sac cleaning day. Domestic Droid Disaster, an original audio drama cooked up in our secret Kaboom Lab. Stick around for a preview of next week's episode, but first... One of the reasons we love all kinds of stories here at Kaboom is because they can lead to some great conversations. Here are a few places we went when we were coming up with today's episode, and we think you might enjoy talking about them too. 
Something that was really fun about making Domestic Droid Disaster <laughs> was that we got to pull in some talent here from BYU Radio, including Julie Rose as the mom. She's the host of BYU Radio's Top of Mind podcast. A fantastic podcast, and Julie's great on it. You want to subscribe to that podcast for a great deep dive look at a lot of important issues. Uh, it's a terrific podcast, Top of Mind. And I'll also say, because I don't want you to have to say it yourself, that you, Brian, were one of the voices in this <laughs> podcast as it well, right? True. You yes. played the dad. <laughs> and an auspicious uh, audio adventure debut it was, I must say. From well, you, Brian. thank you. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, this audio adventure is, for me, at least in part, about Jersey growing up and becoming more independent and her parents seeing that in her made me think of a time when my oldest son was just learning how to drive. We were living then in a new neighborhood, so we were new in town. He was a brand new driver, and we had gone to a school activity one winter night. It was a school play that he was involved in. He had driven a car there. We, the rest of the family, had driven a car after him, and we'd seen the play and came out to a world completely covered in snow. In fact, oh, it was kind no. of a dangerous storm, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> other cars were sliding off the road and new in town. We only knew one way home and that way home was filled with cars sliding off the road. And, uh, and I went and consulted with my son. Uh, I wanted to give him some advice on how to drive in the snow when he turned to me and gave me advice. He said, you know, I know a different way home. Uh, it's not the dangerous way. It's a way that I sometimes get to school and you may not know about it. Well, I didn't know about it. And, and though I was able to give him some advice on driving in the snow, I ultimately followed my son safely home. And that may seem like a tiny little thing, but it was kind of a big moment yeah. for me to be guided <laughs> to safety by my son who was growing into a kind of independence. Oh, I love that. You know, my kids are still young, so they haven't gotten to the age that they're driving yet. So maybe I'll feel a little bit different when there's cars and <laughs> and all that involved. <laughs> right. But they're at an age now where I'm starting to see them become more independent and do more things on their own. And I think it's really exciting. Uh, my daughter has always been very shy, but now she is eight years old old. And one thing that she discovered that she loves to do is be the person who walks up to the fast food counter and orders her own food. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's a big moment. <laughs> yeah. Just six months ago, she would have been terrified and couldn't open her mouth. Yeah. But now I see her confidently saying, I'll have the kid's meal with the chicken nuggets, <laughs> you know? And it's a small thing, but it's so fun to see your kids uh, take those steps to become more independent. Oh, I love that. That's where this story took us. And we love hearing where the stories take you. We love loved this review left on Apple Podcasts from a user called Long Road Trip. And Long Road Trip writes uh, a little review with the title, Fun for the Whole Family. The listener says, we started listening to Kaboom on a family road trip and didn't stop until we had heard them all. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it and, too. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Long Road Trip, for leaving that review for us and the five star rating. Good heavens, those ratings and reviews really help new people find the show. You too can leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform or email us your thoughts at kaboompodcast at byu.edu. That's kaboompodcast, all one word, at byu.edu. Now here's a preview of our next episode, an original audio adventure called Full Moon Ball. Next time on Kaboom. Being a werewolf isn't just a little different. The full moon, the voice I heard in the woods last night, you were there, weren't you? How can I go to prom like this? Oh, no. I need you to put this necklace back on, like, right now. I'm saving your life, you idiot! Domestic Droid Disaster was written by Darren M. Shaw and directed by Sam Payne. The cast included Samantha Danes as Jersey, Brian Tanner as Gerald, Chris Rollins as Devin, Cooper Bowen as Derek, Megan Stitched as Dee Dee, and Julie Rose as Tanya. As we mentioned before, Julie Rose is the host of the great podcast Top of Mind, available wherever you get your podcasts. The sound team for this episode was led by Dan Carlisle and Clark Jackman, with audio engineering by Daniel Davis, Kira Brewer, and Andrew Brewer, dialogue editing by Kira Brewer and Andrew Brewer, and sound design, music editing, and mixing by Andrew Brewer. 
It was produced by Sam Payne and Jeff Simpson. The Kaboom staff includes Miriam Arce, Anna Harlan, Evie Hendricks, Trent Horton, Natalia Reeve, and Tristan Schetzel. Our audio engineer is Carly Wilson. The Kaboom theme music was written by Sam Clawson. If you're looking for more great storytelling for families, check out our companion podcast, The Apple Seed, available wherever you get your podcasts. Kaboom is a production of BYU Radio. Mm-hmm.